Hello and welcome. This is Ruth Hamilton and I'm just about to start making a little dainty dragonfly tiered box die set. It's a die set from Tonic Studios and it has been sitting on my desk for a little while and I haven't used it yet so I haven't made one up. This is my first time. So uh, I've just been out for a really lovely autumn walk this afternoon. Lovely picnic and a walk and I wasn't actually going to work or do anything tonight but this was on the desk and I just thought I would do it. So I have never actually videoed in the evening before so I hope the light's fine with this but um, if not, well sorry but you'll have to put up with it this time and I can fix it next time. So here we are, here's the die set. This is the package and uh, normally I hear some people saying these are quite difficult to open. All I do is put this into my guillotine and take a slight little sliver off the top and the dies come out really, really easily. So I hope that helps you. I have decided to use some Welsh gold card. I don't know if I bring that in, it'll probably have an awful glare, but some Welsh gold glitter card and some Baroque Rose uh, Saturn Effect mirror card. And it has turned out really lovely with the die cuts that I've already done. On the back of this, you can see there are instructions and it tells you exactly how many pieces that you need to cut out of each die, with each die. Um, I've gone ahead and done that. I've actually cut out a couple of extra ones, just um, I thought I needed them. But you'll see as we go along how I've done that. Now, uh, first of all, I have used this die and I've cut that out twice in the Baroque rows. And then I have used these two dies which were just in the centre of it. This one is a Verso die so it has no outside edge. And this one then is the outer edge of that. I've put both of those together. I have run them through the die cutting machine and got myself this piece. So I've used four of those and I've glued them onto the two pieces that I have cut out with this. So there they are. Now on one of these pieces, you'll see, when, you'll see when you use this die that it has a tab at the edge there. I've left it on one, but I have cut it out, out, I've cut it off on the other one. You don't need it on that second edge. Then I have also used this little die, and I have cut that out four times. It says two on the packaging, but because my paper or the card that I'm using isn't double sided, I thought I'd just use it four times. And you glue that right up against the edge here on your on the front panels. So right down at the bottom, and I've just covered it on the other side with the same card. So I've done that on both of those edges, and now I'm just going to glue that one on top. So I've got my deluxe, deluxe adhesive here. You could use red liner tape if you like, but either way, something that's going to hold well. Now I'll need to leave that sitting just for a minute or two because... Um, the glue tends to slide around a little bit on top of mirror card or satin card but there it is and that looks really lovely already I think anyway and I hope you like it too so you can see there these two edges are on the outside and there's the inside and what it should look like now we've got the little tabs on the inside and outside and they're right down flush with the bottom and the whole thing is all aligned there you are. It's quite bright in that light, but there you are. Now, for the little drawers that are inside, the little tiered pieces, I have then taken the dies to cut those pieces out, are the triangle die. Where have I set that now? I had that out. Uh, where has it gone? There it is. It's right there. So, it's that one. Uh, and you'll need to cut that out four times. So I've gone ahead and already made one up, but I'll just show you how to do it on this one. So what we've got is these two pieces, but you won't actually need the tab on one of them, and you don't need to fold it back on the other one either. It's just a little guide. So we'll snip that one off. You can see there, right there, and just along that edge, because that's the piece that you don't need. Okay, and then we'll glue that on top of this little tab, so we want some glue on top there. And that little piece just goes directly on there and you're lining those two triangles up so that they form then the base of the... Uh, I've got little glue on that but I'll clean that off at the end. A little damp cloth will clean that off. Whoops. So 
So there we are. Now, if you turn that over, what you want to do is fold all these sides up and then where these little tabs come in, you just want to join all those together and that will make your little drawer. Like so, turn that one in. And I've gone ahead already and I've got one done and I've also cut out the little rectangle panels. So that's just this little rectangle here and I've cut that out four times because I want two on the front of each piece there. And I'll go ahead and glue these. So that's the little wrap or the little outside edge and these are the two little drawers. So you can see that I've put the gold glitter card on the fronts of both of them but the backs don't have that on because the backs are going to get glued on here and I want to add glue to both of those pieces on this one, the first one and that then will fit right into the centre here so if you see where the centre fold of this wrap is just here okay, and hold that right down in there so that it's flush at the bottom I think I can turn that around and show you in just a second so there it is so if you push this right in I hope you can see that well enough but it's attached to the sides here right into that fold and it's also right down to the bottom here. So it's level with that the whole way around and I just need to let that sit for a moment or two so that the glue grabs in that again and then I'll move on to the next piece. So you can see there how that piece is in and I've put a little peg on it just to hold that until that glue grabs a bit better because the uh, satin card and the mirror card just take that little longer to hold. And then for the, the second drawer, it goes up at the top so that when the box closes, these pieces fold over. So what we want to do this time is put the glue right along on those two back ends again, right into the corners, right along there, and the same here. And this time, instead of making sure they're directly level with the top, the bottom of the box, we want to make sure that they're in line with the top and that it also comes right into that centre part. So you'll see there, right up to the centre fold, but also flush with the top of the box. And I'll put a little peg on each of those again, just to hold that until the glue dries. Now to make the lid, I have cut out these two pieces. I'll show you them here on the sheet. So one is this outside edge here and then this is the other one and it just goes the other way around and you've cut one of each of those out and I have them both cut out in the Baroque rose again here and to fix these together what you'll do is add a little drop of glue around the outside edge of this where the diamond piece has been cut out and set that one down and put this directly on top This is really simple and very, very self-explanatory, I think. But, dear, I've got glue all over my fingers. I'll clean that off with a damp cloth again afterwards. So, there we are. And you want to put glue on each of these tabs. Again, you could use red liner tape if you like. Actually, I'm just going to take that off a second or two till I put the, the glue on there underneath. Well... I managed to get glue in places I didn't mean to have it because it was already stuck to my fingers. So anyway, I've got these glued together now and what I need to do now is put glue on these little tabs, turn them all in and attach them together. Whoops! So here we go. I think it's definitely a lot easier, uh, sorry, a lot less messy if you use red liner tape. But um, I like the glue first of all because it um, sort of means you can manoeuvre them around a little if you don't just get them in the right place first time. But pegs are my best friend for working this. So here we are. Why 
Now that's drying, I'll go ahead and make the little piece for the top of it and the dragonfly. This is the piece here that you'll need, this little die. And I've cut that out twice in gold mirror card, the, the, sorry, gold glitter card. And you can see here, there's a little diamond when you fold these pieces over, there's a little diamond in the middle. And you want to put glue on the inside of one of those and just overlap that diamond there. And when that's in the right place, now again I'm going to need my little pegs because glitter card just takes that little minute or two longer to hold. Then we're going to put glue on all of these tabs. Uh, I'll leave those outside edges for a moment because I, want, I don't want to put glue on those. I want to put uh, red tape, I think, on them. Then we'll, that, that will hold that better. So now I have cut out this outside edge in the Baroque Rose. I have cut it out again and I have used these inside panels, although not this decorative one in the middle, to cut out the gold and I have glued just by the body the gold one onto the Baroque Rose one. And then I have used this piece, I'll take it off here to show you, this piece. And I have cut that out in the rows and I'm going to attach that onto here just by the body. So there it is, just going on there and the diamonds just overlap perfectly so that you can get them into position without having to fiddle about with them. Most of the fiddling about I'm doing with this is actually because I've used mirror card and glitter card which are beautiful once they dry but they do take just a little bit of fiddling to get the the glue to hold um, and as I say you could use high tack tape but um, when I'm videoing I tend to use glue because um, sometimes it's just a little bit awkward to get it in place and talk at the same time. So this is this the little piece that I had made for the top as you remember I had left all the pegs on it. I'm going to put that down through this little butterfly body And then I'm going to put that down through the centre of the lid. So you can see now that that is pushed down through there. These little pieces are showing through the inside. See it there? And I'm going to put glue all around the outside of that and then open those tabs out and that should be, leave that for a second or two to dry. So those get pushed out like that and flattened onto there and then that will take a moment or two to grab and then that's my lid done. So there's the little box and there's the beautiful lid. Isn't that just gorgeous? I've gone ahead with the other dies from the set to make a little tag and I've used this outside edge and I've used this one with the gold glitter card and that says with love. And I have taken some of the beautiful ivory white, uh, it's this um, three millimeter Craft Perfect ribbon and I'm just going to put that through there. And through here. My beautiful box with a lovely tag on it. 
Now, that's turned out really well. I'm really pleased with it. Um, it's really, it's about time to go to bed now. So what I'm going to do is just leave it until the morning and then I'll take a, a nice photograph of it in daylight and add it on here and post it and hope you all enjoy it. Thanks very much. Don't forget if you do like it and enjoy it, don't forget to give it a like, a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and if you haven't already got this die set I'll add my affiliate links down below to where you can get that too. I know lots of you have already got it but if you haven't and you're interested they'll be there too. So thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.